Hello everybody, welcome back. I wanted to show you something here before I, uh, some progress I made on the van before I go filling it up with some stuff. Cause we're at about that point. I got the floor finished, at least for now. I don't know if I said, I don't, I'm just, I don't want to put any hard flooring in it right now. So I put this in it. Well, I put a, I put a Bella in it <laughs> and I, I had this piece of um, artificial turf that uh it, it's nice it's higher quality stuff it's like i think it's inch and three eighths thick it's really soft and comfortable to lay on but um you know i did get all the, the styrofoam insulation down the quarter inch the lawn uh in there and all coated and uh that's it we ended up with um this is what we ended up with <laughs> it seems so nice and spacious right now hang on here I'm Bella, what do you, what do you say about that, Bella? She says, yeah, I kind of, I kind of like this. <laughs> so this is what we're going with, at least for now. Uh, the piece I had, it did come up like an inch short, uh, but I'm going to put some kind of, uh, some kind of trim piece across the back here anyway. But I really, really like this. And I got to get busy on the walls. So yeah, we haven't made a ton of progress, but at least the floor is done. Are you ready to go? Watch them doors. <laughs> the other little bit of progress. We're finally all legal now. We got a brand new emission sticker and a brand new state inspection inspection sticker. So it did finally pass the emissions with that new catalytic converter. Um, I forgot. I do have to put the weight class sticker on here that I got with my registration. So I'll get that sticker on there. We'll be all set, girl. We are on our way back out to Mike and Susie's. Uh, Mike got all that. Uh, seen from the last video, Mike's, uh, they're tearing that uh, pop-up camper all apart and I'm um, gonna fix me up with some goodies out of it that I can use in the van. So uh, he messaged me and he's got everything out of it. And uh, we're gonna go out and pick that up. And then there'll be, that's why I wanted to show you that while it was empty. So stuff's gonna start going in. So we'll go get that stuff. Okay, we've been out at Mike's and um, hung out there for a little bit and just visited and scratched our heads a little bit about how things are going to fit in here. And uh, I just stopped here, big pullover spot here at the Beaver, I think it's called Beaver, Beaver Run, Beaver Run Reservoir. The water's really, really low here today. I don't know why it's rained a good bit lately. But here's what we got and i'm gonna build a frame for under it now in that pop-up you know when the pop-up was collapsed for traveling you know this folded down it was on arms so and then once you set it up it, it came up you know regular counter height so i don't know uh, i'm gonna have to measure what a reasonable dif distance is from the ceiling because that is a stove can't be too close and i think what i was counting on that there would be more storage once that was raised up underneath of it so I don't know how much that's going to allow me, like for my cooler, and then versus how far the bed's going to come up. Uh, it's going to be, take some measuring and figuring things out. And there's a little 110 refrigerator. It's just like one of those little dorm refrigerators that was in it. We we were thinking it was also propane. Didn't know if I was going to be able to make use of that or, or not, but uh, Mike wasn't going to use it. And he said, well, you know, if you can use it somewhere, you know, somebody can. Um, so, you know, I took that. And here's this other cabinet that was in there. And it has two drawers on the front. And I thought, wow, that might be, um, that might come in handy, like, for clothes. And maybe just a little uh, place to work. And I could also raise this up a little bit. Uh, or leave it down there. I don't know, but. And it's just kind of where it was attached in the, in the uh, pop-up. But that's what we have right now. So I'm sure we'll make uh, use of some of this. And and actually, this stovetop might get condensed. I might just use one burner out of it and a control knob and have that uh, and make a different countertop and put the, put the sink and the single burner in the countertop and then have a little bit of counter space here to, uh, yeah, for prep work or whatever. 
So that might get modified. But that's where we're at now. I just wanted to show it to you real quick because I'm probably going to go drop this off. And, um, well, it's going to have to come back out of here because I still have work to do on the walls. It'll be in the way for now. So we're going to go uh, get it back out of here and get back to what I was doing. Yeah, that reservoir is, you know, it's probably five or six feet low. Anyhow. Pretty nice out here. The geese are down there. Geese and ducks. Geese and ducks down there. So I prefer cows. <laughs> Let's jump ahead a day. It's it's morning, and we're out at the uh, Miller's Town Pick Apart. And uh, I went to their website, and it, I think there's like a dozen Ford vans, the same body style, the same range of years as what I have. And I want to find a couple of things for it here before I get too far along. That could be something useful. It could maybe save me some money. <laughs> so I went to their website, and they have these all inventoried online. And... Yeah, there's like a dozen of them. There's at least one. I look, it has a high top on it. I wonder how easy those are to remove. <laughs> a whole line of them. Uh, some of them were school buses. I only brought two tools today. I'm really kind of on a mission just to maybe see what is available. I might come back another time if I find something to... Um, I, I just don't know just yet. Look at this here. I wonder what kind of seats are in this because my my seat is got duct tape. Oh, this has pretty blue tape. <laughs> but I want to find a swivel for the passenger seat. And oh yeah. And what I'm more probably more likely to find in one of the school buses is let me go around here and look. Oh, the plastic thing is gone. Oh, this has a false floor in it for all these seats, but this one would be hard to get. But this plastic piece on the step on mine is uh, messed up. So I'm going to keep my eye out for one of those. And the other thing I want, let's go, let's not go too fast here. I want to make sure, I want to see if this might have a swivel. Huh. <laughs> uh, oh, I mean, it might have a swivel on one of these other seats. Now, that would be nice to find a good pair of these that has the armrests, too. Uh, Jesus, that swivel? Or the one of these swivels? Uh, huh. I don't feel no handle. No. No, I can tell by that base down there. It's the same as what I have. That does not swivel. But, you know, it's the same year range as my van. I wonder what kind of stuff might bolt in. <sighs> See, here's a high top. Here's a high top, and I still am not even close to standing up. So, I don't know. Need a super high top, maybe. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Huh. Huh. Plastic thing's gone out of this one too. That must be a popular item. These do get broke into. And actually mine's slightly damaged. Oh here's one. I might have to come back for that. Oh no, that's not that's different. This is a Chevy van. This one has one. It looks okay. Yeah, I just kind of on a reconnaissance mission right now to uh, see what I can find. So I took the front seats out of this. I wonder if one of these back seats would work. That's actually a nice gray color that would match my van. 
Uh, it has the armrests. Uh, I might have to do some measuring and come back. Wheel covers. Oh, broken wheel covers. I might pick up a set of those. And that trim piece is gone on this one. Hmm. <laughs> Another Chevy. There's that Ford with that high top. I'll have to check that out, see if I can stand up in it. All right. Any good front bumpers? Mine's a little rusty. Um, yeah, this high top here. Oh, it has a, a wheelchair lift in it. That floor is completely different. There's no front seat. <laughs> I'm not gonna try getting past that. There's one wheel cover. It has the back plastic piece. Yeah, so those are out here. There's a nice chrome bumper. But mine has that nice heavy duty one on it. I, I think I want to stay with it in case I, I ever get rear ended a little bit. Uh, that would bend pretty easily. My heavy duty bumper will not. What was I looking for? <laughs> the thing for the step and wheel covers today. That's why I just got these tools. And uh, we're not too far from the, this is not too far from the garage, maybe 15 minutes. So, uh, Chevy Astro vans and Dodge vans. I thought there was more. I'm gonna take a walk over around this way. No, these are the smaller Astro vans. Maybe they, uh, maybe they crushed a couple because there were supposed to be a dozen of them and I think I only seen, I think we only visited about six of them. Chevy, Chevy, Dodge, Chevy, Chevy. We have these three Fords. Let me see here. Let me see about gathering up hubcaps for it. Well, these are off the E150, so they only have the five bolt. If they're 16 inch wheels, uh, they are. I don't know if they would go on mine or not. These are, they just have a wee little scuff on it. What about this one? I don't see any cracks. I think they clean up nice. I think there's that one more around the other side. <clears throat> Wait, maybe it is right here. Yeah, that's not a. I don't think there's any cracks. I don't know if I like them. <laughs> hmm. I don't know about that. Those five lug, the five lug style just makes it look like a lighter duty van. I like to find them that has the eight. There is the other style somewhere. Um, that's the kind I want. And uh, just back up just to confirm. All right. Oh, wait. Here, here we are. Here it is. And it's in pretty nice shape. Ta da! All right, let me work and get this out of here. And this does not have the swivel base either. Although these seats uh, in the front one don't have the armrest, but it's a nice gray cloth instead of the plastic I have. It would probably clean up. Oh, uh, there's, a, there's a little burn. A little burn mark on that one and the other one's torn. So that's a no-go on that.
All right, let me pop this thing out of here. It really only has three screws down here. And then these are just plastic uh, pins that should just pop out with my pry bar. And, hmm. This stuff ha does have some lights in the ceiling. Yeah. Nah, I don't think there's anything I'm interested in. There's two. Yeah, I'll have to specifically do a search on the uh, the hubcaps for the E250. The E250 and 350 probably has the same hubcaps. They're eight lug wheels, and these are only uh, E150s, the, the half ton vans. So they have the lighter duty suspension and the five lug wheels, the five lug hubcaps. Good, okay, getting this last screw loose. It's a little stubborn. There it is. It's pretty nice shape. It's in real nice shape. It'll clean up really nice. Just has a little bit of just a little bit of stuff on it from this door being open, but that's gonna work. Heck yeah. <laughs> that's gonna work. There's a really nice front bumper on it. And I just to make sure that one doesn't have the swivel. Make sure I didn't overlook it by going too fast. No seats. Oh, here's a Ford manual, uh, but it's for uh, the owner's manual, but again, it's for the half ton, not the three quarter ton. And uh, another GMC here, this Ford, I guess is the first one we looked at, just so I didn't ever look, and the seat's completely gone. Huh, huh, huh. Yeah, they must have crushed and got rid of some because they showed about 12 Fords and, you know, dang near as many Chevys. Get my tools. I grabbed all the screws. I guess we could get out of here. Oh, I did see one more thing I'll have to consider for another day. Oh, well, there is that plastic piece that uh, mine is slightly damaged. So I might be back for one of those. I'll get mine out so I'll know exactly what tools I need. Or I'll at least look at it and uh, get my tools rounded up and be back for one of these this one's actually a little bit nicer and what else i see one of these windows are open my windows don't open and i seen one of them here i thought i seen are the kind that tip out a little bit from the bottom where did i see that i don't know was I imagining things? <laughs> it might have been that leisure van. Had those type. And it's all taped up. It must have leaked. It's all taped. Or it broke and wouldn't stay shut. The latch might have broken. This door's completely gone, so. Alright. Okay, that's that's the piece that that is for, obviously. Um and yeah, this is a good time to uh, get this piece. I did leave a little bit of material on the, the insulation and the the uh, uh, the Luan, Luan plywood. So I'm just gonna better trace that where it needs to go. And 
get my jigsaw and trim trim that a little bit trim the carpet a little bit and then put this piece in here where it belongs yeah the other one the other one is uh, worn through up here really bad from loading and unloading a bunch of stuff out of you know probably heavy stuff in the side door all the time so this one's not it's got a couple little scuffs just normal wear and tear but it's not all worn through so i'll be glad to get this piece in and uh finish this trim up and good news is that they only wanted uh, ten dollars for it so that was that was fair enough I know, progress is slow on this. Gosh, painfully slow. <laughs> You stay out of there for right now, girl. So yeah, here's those pieces. This is a one that was, you know, all banged up. It's seen a lot of construction in its days. That is really worn through and just overall, it's kind of nasty. So, and uh, versus the new one, well, the more gently used one. So I get that cleaned up and get her in here at some point when I'm ready for that. I have some other stuff to get to right now. Uh, that's just gonna be it for the van day, uh, the van update. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't get the, the dinette thing for the back. That, that's not gonna work out. So I know a lot of you thought, oh, that's gonna be a fantastic idea. And you know, on a surface, I guess initially it seems it would be, but it's not. I might do something similar at some point, but for now it's just kind of out of the question for right now. Um, <laughs> that's it let's wrap this up i'll get further along maybe we'll get out we'll get closer and get ready to where we can go do something in it that would be nice the weather's getting nice i'm ready we'll be back soon i'll see you mm -hmm.